I've seen so many immigration cases, but I think this one is quite unique. Uh, this woman, as you see on the screen, came to Canada 18 years ago as a child. You can see the photo. And now she's facing deportation. So 18 years she was living as, uh, as undocumented. And uh, the funny thing is she's from France, for which we don't even need a visa right now. So let's take a look uh, uh, what, what went on. A 30-year-old woman who was brought to Toronto when she was a little girl. She facing deportation to France after federal officials learned that she was living in Canada without immigration status for 18 years. So Laura Emanuel Sachet, a samba dancer who now owns a cleaning business, she uh, came to Canada with her mother at the age of 12 to take care of her grandmother who suffered a severe stroke. Uh, in 2000. Two, an immigration consultant told them that if they wanted to stay in Canada, they would need to apply as refugees. A notion that even puzzled Sajid as a young girl, seeing as France was a safe country. This is a wrong advice by somebody in 2002. I mean, this is 2020 right now. Can you imagine? So wrong advice, but the family trusted the consultant to know the Canadian system better than did, and they handed over the payment. Uh, when the application was rejected, a deportation order was issued, and of course it had to be because he was she had a French passport. The consultant advised him to go under the federal government's radar and wait for amnesty. Come on, I mean this cannot be true. I mean, uh, who is the consultant who can give this advice? Uh, anyway, so this happens for 18 years since the sergeant said she has been living in fear, scared at any moment officers with CBS would come to her home, tear her away from the friends she built in Canada. This is the woman. Uh, in the situation, she has felt afraid for her safety. She has not contacted police due to safety. I don't think she has any sin number. We'll find out. Uh, the past number, she decided she wanted to take, uh, take help. She contacted a lawyer. Uh, Gracila Flores Mendes took up a case, helped to apply for PR under uh, humanitarian class. She applied under humanitarian compassionate class, but the application uh, did not uh, get approved. A application listed her address and she said the last week officers with the CBSA came to her home, detained her for two days. Look at this and gave her a deportation order on Saturday. That's it. Uh, Mendes, a lawyer with the, said the judge will hear a case on Friday in the federal court on Friday. That's today. I hope uh, we'll come to know what's going on today. And uh, today is Friday. Uh, and then, uh, you know, otherwise she will be facing deportation. Sachet completed public school in Toronto when she was accepted to university. She was unable to attend because she she did not have a SIN card, of course. Yeah, yeah how can you have the SIN card? And I didn't, I didn't necessary. So that's it. So she said at the age of 18, she started a cleaning business and paid tax to the Canadian government using a uh, ITN, which allows non-residents to contribute to CRA. I wanted to do right thing. I wanted to give back. And because she's paying taxes, I think uh, the judge will look favorable to her. Maybe 18 years she's been, you know, living. Uh, we don't know. She said the images of the immigration consultant still haunt her some days, but the blonde haired woman sitting behind the day is a memory I could never get out of my mind. And that's that's what it is. Laura Emanuel Sache said she sees camera literally. Uh, come on. You know, uh, you have to understand when you are from France or one of those Western countries, how on earth can you expect to get uh, asylum or refugee here in Canada? It does not work. They will never give it to you. On top of that, the immigration consultant also told her to go underground and to wait for amnesty. Come on, man. You know, I, I, I don't know how anybody in good conscience can give this advice, but hey, this is what it is. So this is on CTV News. You can type this on Google and read this. Uh, by the way, today is this was posted on Thursday and today is Friday and today uh, I think uh, her case must be discussed. So we never know. Maybe something will come up after. Uh, after today, after today, maybe something will come up. Uh, who knows? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, always uh, your comments. I appreciate it and share it with your friends. Bye bye.